y'all it's wonderful wednesday i'm april roll your er doctor online and october is breast cancer awareness month so we wear pink to raise awareness represent and show support for breast cancer awareness month in this video i'm going to be sharing some very important information about breast cancer first things first what is cancer? It's when abnormal cells grow uncontrollably and they invade healthy cells. And breast cancer is when this process takes place in breast tissue. Now, I also wanna say at the beginning of this video, breast cancer does not discriminate. I'm talking about age, race, gender. Um, it really doesn't matter. Whether you are biologically male or female, unfortunately, anyone can get breast, tissue, breast cancer because everyone has breast tissue, okay? Um, there are some risk factors that you can avoid, completely avoidable risk factors. Unfortunately, there are some risk factors you can avoid, but in the business of education and um, accountability, being responsible and knowing how to protect your body, um, I'm gonna share with you those risk factors. Completely avoidable risk factors. Inactivity is a risk factor. So if you're living a sedentary lifestyle, you have no bit of activity, you're not walking, you're, you're not doing anything, um, physically active, um, that is a risk factor. And to go along with that, poor diet is a risk factor and obesity is a risk factor. Another thing, drinking alcohol. So the more alcohol you drink, the higher your risk of developing breast cancer becomes. Another risk factor, radiation to the chest. So what do I mean by that? Getting chest x-rays, getting CAT scans, getting any type of imaging with radiation before the age of 30. Now, I don't mean, oh my gosh, I can't get a chest x-ray now. You just told me it's a risk cancer for developing breast cancer. No, that's not what I mean. But if you are in the ER every day getting a chest x-ray um, or getting CAT scans or getting unnecessary testing that basically is dosing you with radiation, you're hospital hopping and you're doing this, that is putting you at a higher risk of developing breast cancer if you're exposing your chest to radiation before the age of 30. Another risk factor is combined hormone replacement therapy, and that is something that is prescribed during menopause or for menopause. So, all of these things that I just listed, inactivity, physical inactivity, poor diet, obesity, drinking alcohol, getting unnecessary exposure with radiation to the chest before the age of 30, and combined hormone replacement therapy, those are all completely avoidable risk factors for breast cancer, meaning that you have the power to avoid those risk factors and thereby decrease your risk of developing breast cancer. Now, like I said, there are some unavoidable risk factors and those have to do with genetics. Um, you can't change how you were born genetically, unfortunately. And if you have a family history of breast cancer, then that means that you have a higher risk yourself of developing breast cancer. And this is where the importance of early screening and early detection comes into play. You can do early screening by getting mammograms. Mammograms are specific imaging modalities which um, are dedicated to detecting breast cancer. And also, as I spoke about early detection, there are a couple other things um, in, in addition to mammograms that you can do to have early detection. And that's basically getting to know your breasts. You need to know your breasts 
And what do I mean by that? Monthly self-breast exams. If you are examining your breast every month, you are going to know when there is some type of change or abnormality, whether it be some discomfort, um, changes in the skin, changes in the color, discoloration, or um, the texture of the skin, redness, swelling, um, drainage, all of these things you will notice if you are making it a habit to every month uh, do a self breast exam. Now those things kind of are that I just spoke about are, um, on sight and feeling, but, um, the actual self breast exam that will include, um, basically from the armpit all the way to the mid chest and below the breast on both sides. Obviously you want to, um, examine both sides and whether you do an up down method where you are going across and, and you're not doing how I'm doing. I'll show you in a second, but you're basically going across like this in the up down method, or you're going side to side in this type of method. You want to cover the entire area, including the armpit. Okay. All the way up here, all the way in the armpit and all the way down here, which you can't see <laughs> off camera. But what you're doing when you do that, you want to do this kind of motion. And I, I know you can't see the pressure that I'm uh, placing on, but you want to go in a round motion. So when you're going across, you want to do in a round motion and kind of putting gentle pressure so that you can feel deeper into the breast tissues. So you're covering all that area, you're, you're doing in a roundabout way so that you can feel the density, the type of tissues, type of textures, and you can feel whether or not you're developing a lump or you're having any type of discomfort. These are the type of things that you would need to discuss with a healthcare professional if you do encounter some type of change or some type of abnormality, some type of lump, some type of firm nodule or something that you can feel that feels distinctly different from the surrounding breast tissue. And the good thing about it, obviously, you have two sides, right? So if you feel something that you're like, ah, I kind of don't know what that what that is, maybe it's painful, maybe it's not painful, and you go onto the other side kind of symmetrically in the same position and you feel you don't feel that same thing, then that should be something that you um, go to your healthcare professional to get further evaluation, whether it be by ultrasound or mammography, because again, early detection is what it's about. With early detection, if you are, if breast cancer is discovered in the early local stage, meaning right where it started and it hasn't spread anywhere else, the five year relative survival rate is 99%. So that goes to show you just how important it is for early detection because if you detect it and you're able to deal with it quickly, in the early local stage, the five-year um, the five-year relative survival rate is ninety-nine percent. So that's amazing. In this video, I just wanted to give you a couple of tips that you can have for yourself, share with your family and friends about breast cancer, and raise awareness about breast cancer in this month of October and beyond. So if you learn anything from this video and you like this video, please like the video, share the video so that many more people can get this information and it can make a change in someone's life. Um, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to hear um, information about even more healthcare topics so that you can have the autonomy and um, be able to be educated about your body, educated about your health, so that you can make healthy decisions about your body and about your life. 
If you have any comments or have any questions or you have suggestions for future Wonderful Wednesdays topics that you'd like to hear, please put those in the comment section below. But I want to thank you again for always sharing these Wonderful Wednesdays with me. Be blessed and stay healthy.